I'm going to show you guys everything that you need to know about missions in Warpath. So to access your missions, you want to click the clipboard icon to the sort of bottom left. It's like the third one up for the bottom. And then first off, there's just missions, which are, I think, one-time things. You'll eventually run out of them, I believe, because I'm getting less. And like, even if you're like, you do all of them, more will pop up, more will pop up. But it's gotten to the point where there's like not very many popping up. So I do think that they run out eventually for these, but you do get free stuff from these which is nice and you get free like gold from the one up here and you, I don't know, i'm sure it runs out eventually of missions but you can get a lot of stuff uh now daily missions this is honestly the most important thing officer missions are pretty important we'll get to that in a second but daily missions you want to make sure that every single day before it refreshes that you do enough of these daily missions to unlock the final chest or box whatever it is final reward because it gets 500 gold but even just getting the third one gives 100 gold. Uh, other than that, it just gives, you know, rushes and, and funds and things like that. But uh, definitely make sure that you get on every day and do enough of these. Uh, some of these are a little complicated, but, uh, yeah, you definitely want to get on here and do this. Do some research. Do a, use a rush. Uh, let's see what else is easy. Uh, using the rush campaigns easy. I don't know. Whatever. You want know, to check these and do these every single day. Get all your rewards if possible. It's huge, uh, it's huge to get 500 or 600, 700 gold per day. Officer missions. Now, officer missions are something that you should be doing at all times once you unlock them. You unlock them at level 12, uh, commander level 12, and you want to put your officers on these missions at all times because it gives them officer experience and lets them level up. Once they get like level 10 plus, this is what feels like the only way to level them up. It gives a lot of officer experience. And yeah, and also each officer has a special skill that makes them good or not good at not well, good good or neutral at a mission. So like, see these two icons. In order to get a 100% success on this, you need an officer who has this trait and an officer who has this trait. Well, for this, for level two, you'll start off. You only have level one, okay? And then once you get your camp rank up, which we'll get to in a second then uh, you'll unlock level two. And then once you get your camp ranked to level three, you'll unlock level three and, and so on and so forth. You always want to do the highest level one possible because it gives exponentially more experience compared to the lower level ones. Also takes more time though, four hours versus 30 minutes. So like for this one, we need these two. So it'll show right here on the right, like if who has what. So we want to pick one person who has that. And then we necessary. also want to pick one person who has Don't the other thing. Me. And that'll I give a hundred percent. You don't have to, kill. but it just makes you get more rewards, I think so. Uh, and this one, we gotta get someone who has that, Jesus someone who has that. And then for this one, we don't have I someone who has like the other gym. one, so we'll just pick two people. And now we have one person left over always for me at, at the moment, how many people I have. So we'll just do uh, one that takes one person that doesn't give as much and put him on it. Uh, and then, so doing these gives camp rank and like, um, you get way more camp rank for the higher level ones. So you guys want to do the highest level ones, keep getting more camp rank. Uh, camp rank, you can get to that by going to system at the bottom right, and then camp rank. And you unlock this at like what, level 12 also, I think. And each of those missions has a different camp that it gives this uh, rank to. Oh my gosh, I, I hate that that AFK humming thing, man. They're the worst thing about this game. I would actually rate this game one star just off that humming thing. And it's really annoying when trying to make videos. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, so you unlock these, like the first level is real fast. And down here, you can see how much experience you have towards it. Uh, and then once you, uh, get, once you promote it to the next level, you get these rewards. So you get a little bit of gold, you get a coupon, you get a uh, something for each one. And also promoting unlocks these, uh, traits that give different stats. Like this one gives, it's give 0.5% firepower and the next level will get something else. And, so on and so forth. I guess it also gives power, camp power, or whatever, 5,000. Uh, yeah, and you can see more information if you click the little button up here. Uh, yeah, so that goes into more detail into all that. I guess you get one, then the other, then the other, and then you get level two, level two, level two, and level three, level three, level three. So yeah, it's gonna be this, and then you're gonna get that, that, or something like that, and then building up. So uh, you definitely want to, while you're playing, just always be doing your daily missions but also just check in here and make sure that you always have 
uh, officer missions officer missions going at all times. It's free. It's just free camp rank, free bonuses. Eventually, it's it's great. So uh, that's pretty much everything there is to know about missions. Uh, if I missed anything, feel free to comment about it. But yeah, that is pretty much everything about missions in Warpath.